I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. This video is extremely important for the students preparing for SAT. A very interesting topic, functions, is being discussed in this video with the help of 20 plus questions. First set of 10 questions are to understand the basic concepts and get ready for examination. This will be followed by two practice questions and then 13 test problems. This video could be a bit long. Let's look into the very first question where we'll understand the concept of function notation. The question here is the function f is defined by f of x equals to 2x plus 5. What is the value of f of x? when x equals to minus 2. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, f of x is the output. We want to find the value at minus 2. So, we could write this as f of minus 2. Substitute minus 2 for x, right? And evaluate. So, we have minus 4 plus 5, which is equal to plus 1. And therefore, option C is the correct option. Here is the second question. The function G is defined by G of x equals to 2x minus 3. What is the value of G of 1? Clearly, we need to substitute x as 1 in this case. So we get 2 times 1 minus 3, which is 2 minus 3 or minus 1 as our answer. So, option A is the correct option. Question number 3. The function G is defined by G of x equals to 2 times x plus 3. What is the value of G minus 4? So, the value of G minus 4 is replace x with minus 4 and then evaluate the result. What do we get? We get 2 times minus 1 or minus 2 and Option A is the correct option. So, as you can see, the very first set of three questions was to find the output. Now, let's look into question number four, which is the function A is defined by h of x equals to 6 minus 2x. Find the value of x when h of x is minus 2. How are you going to do this? Well, h of x, which is the output, is given to us. We need to find the value of x. Let us substitute minus 2 for h of x and evaluate the value of x, correct? So we'll rearrange the equation. Bringing x on the left side with 2, we have 6 plus 2 on the right side now. So 2x is equal to 6 plus 2, which is 8, and x should be equal to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So d is the right option, correct? Question number 5. Here we will find the x-intercept. The linear function f is defined by f of x equals to 2 times x minus 3. Find x-intercept for the line represented by f of x. Well, x-intercept, as you know, is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. So let me sketch here for you. So we have the function which is 2x minus 6 actually, right? So, if I sketch the graph, it will be slope or gradient of 2 and the y-intercept of minus 6, correct? Here, we need to actually find the x-intercept. Means, y is 0. That is this point, right? So, we'll substitute 0 for f of x and evaluate the value of x. Now, dividing by 2, we get x minus 3 and clearly x equals to 3 will give us a 0. So option D is the right option. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Let's move on and find the y-intercept in the next example. So here the function f of x is given to us as equal to 2 times x minus 3. Same function and we need to find the y-intercept. Y-intercept, as I discussed, is a point where x is 0. 
So let's find what is f of 0. That is y intercept, right? So if I substitute 0 here, I get 2 times minus 3, which is equal to minus 6. And therefore, option A is the correct option. Let's move on and take the next question, which is question number 7. So I hope till now there is no problem. If you have any, feel free to write your comments in the comment section. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Also, feel free to send an email on the address given for further clarifications. Let's continue. A linear function f is defined by f of x equals to 2 minus 3x. Find the gradient for the line represented by f of x. Now, gradient is the slope. If I write the function in the form y equals to mx plus b, we know m is the gradient, correct? So, that is the concept. So, let me rearrange this particular equation to write in the given form. So, we have f of x equals to 2 minus 3x. Well, clearly, minus 3x plus 2 is the other way of writing it and the gradient m is minus 3, the coefficient of x. And here, option b is the correct option. Here is question number 8 for you. The linear function f is defined by f of x equals to 2 times x minus 3 plus 1 identify a point on the graph of f of x. Now, we are given four different points. What you need to do is to substitute x value and c. Do you get the same y value as given by the coordinate point? Correct. Well, we have two values with 3. Let's try that first, right? So, let me just check what is f of 3 equals to. So, if I substitute 3 here, I get 2 times 3 minus 3, which is 0, plus 1. So, I do get 1, which is option D. See, in multiple choice questions, it may be important to even select a point for calculations. Time is critical. Correct? So, we get option D as the correct point here. For the value of 3, the output is 1. Next question. Question number 9 for us. The function h is defined by h of x equals to 2x minus 1. Find the expression for the function h of x plus 1. Very interesting question. So, when I want to find what is x plus 1, replace x with x plus 1 and evaluate or simplify the expression. Well, what do we get? We get 2x plus 2 minus 1, which is 2x plus 1, which is option B for us. So, we get our option B as a right result. I hope it is absolutely clear. And now, let's take up the last question. It is a thinking application question on function notation. We are given the function h, which is defined as h of x equals to 2x minus 1. And g of x is twice h of x plus 3. We need to find the solution for h of x equals to g of x the point of intersection for both these functions. Well, here is the best way to do it. We need to figure out what is h of x equals to g of x, right? The value of x for which both the functions are equal. Well, we are given that g of x is twice h of x plus 3. So, let's rearrange. Bringing 3 to the left, we get minus 3 equals to twice h of x minus h of x, which is h of x. Now, we could rewrite h of x as 2x minus 1 and then solve. So, we get minus 3 plus 1 equals to 2x. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 equals to 2x. And clearly, x is equal to minus 2 by 2, which is minus 1. So, option B is the right option. Do you see that? So, these types of questions which involve more than one function can be tricky at times. So, I hope you have understood all the concepts. I will now like you to pause the video and solve the practice question. The practice question has the first four types of examples. The function f is defined by f of x equals to 2x minus 1. Find the value of f of minus 2, value of f of 0. Find the expression for f of x plus 2 and a if f of a is 7. Perfect. 
first four examples will help you answer this question. Here is practice question two, where we have similar type to practice. Perfect. Once you've done these practice questions, here are the text questions for you. Have a look at this, pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. I'm going to upload another video which will have complete solution to all these test questions. At present, have a good look at it and try to solve them. Write in comments if you need any suggestions for any of these questions. I hope you find them interesting and very useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Also provide your own test questions which we could include in further videos. So here we are at question number 10 and these are slightly more challenging questions which are normally the top five questions in any SAT test types, right? So here we are talking about function or function with exponents and the last question is function with the radicals. So in this particular video, what we really saw is we have understood the concept of functions, the function notations, and see how we perform different kinds of operations with the functions. And we have some real good test questions, and I hope practicing this will help you understand the concepts much better. Feel free to send your request on the email address for more information. Thanks for your time, and all the best.